But first, I do have a confession to make. Hey everyone, Mike here. I'm gonna be really ambitious today and I'm gonna try to explain NSXT transport zones in only five minutes. But first, I do have a confession to make. I know you guys see me as kind of this, you know, fun guy that, you know, just is hilarious and puts out amazing technical content, makes you wanna subscribe like every time. Um, I'm a phony though, guys. It's not me. It's not me. The truth is, I get all of my powers and wisdom for NSXT from one place. From this hoodie! Come on, guys! You know Mark Zuckerberg's not walking around creating things like Facebook out of his mind. He's creating it with a higher power. He's got the power of the hoodie. And that's the same intensity that I'm bringing today now that I'm wearing my favorite hoodie. There's no way I could explain NSXT transport zones in only five minutes without the help of this thing. So let's get to it. Here's the timer. We have five minutes. Go. So in our case, we have three hosts and we wanna give the VMs that sit on those hosts access to the networks that we've created. However, as you see on the screen, we haven't created any networks, so let's do that. So we create a red segment and a blue segment. Now, the next step is we need to create transport zones. And the transport zones are essentially going to define the scope of where these networks can extend to. So you'll see here I create one called tz-test and tz-prod. Now we need to actually connect those segments to the transport zones, which is done when I create those segments. So let's do that. So we create them, but at this point, those networks are still not available in vCenter on those hosts. So let's do that. Now you'll see here, once we actually connected the host to the transport zone or added the transport zone to the host, now that host has access to the respective network. So the red network is available to these VMs because TZ prod spans across their hosts. And likewise, the blue network is available over here. But let me go into the actual GUI and show you guys what this looks like. All right, so here we are back in NSXT Manager. So let's take a look at the segments that I've already created. So you'll see here I have the blue segment, which was on our previous slide, and I also have this red segment. If you look over here under Transport Zone, you'll see red is under TZ Prod, which matches the slide I showed, and blue is under TZ Test. So I've got them added to the Transport Zones already. Now let's look at vCenter and actually look at the host that we're gonna be uh, working with. So you'll see here we have two hosts in this case. We have dot .11 and dot .12. Now I have Web01, if we kind of focus here, Web01 is sitting on host dot .11 and Web02 is sitting on host dot .12. So what I want to do is give Web01 access to the blue network but not the red network and vice versa. I want to give Web02 access to the red network but not the blue network. So let's do that. So first, let's see what networks we can access from this host. So if we go here, we'll see that clearly there's no red or blue network. And the reason is because we haven't actually added this host to the transport zone yet. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna close out of this quickly and we'll go into NSXT Manager. And what we need to do is actually add the host to the transport zone. To do that, we're gonna go to nodes. We're going to select our vCenter and we're gonna see our hosts here. Now, if you go over here, you can actually see, let me expand this. Uh, you can actually see the transport zones that have already been added to the host. Clearly the one we wanna add has not been added. It's worth mentioning also that you're not limited to just adding one transport zone per host. So all I have to do to add a transport zone is go under here. I have my prod VDS and I have a transport zone here. I've already added one, but I need to add a second one. Now in this case, I want this host to have access to the blue network, so I need to add TZ test. That's all, I'm gonna hit finish. And I'm gonna do the same thing for host 12, except I'm going to add the other transport zone. And don't be afraid to go back and pause this recording and look at the diagram, because what I'm doing will match the recording pretty closely. So I'm adding TZ prod to this one. 
And by doing that, uh, it will take a little bit of time. You'll see here it's kind of spinning for a minute. Once that's complete, I'll have access to add those networks on those hosts. So let's go ahead and flip back over to vCenter and let's see what the result is. So we have, again, recapping Web01 on host 11. So this should have the blue network, but not the red network. Let's see what we got. And you'll see here we have the blue network, so we can select that if we'd like. And we've got the N next to it showing it's an NSX created network. I'll go ahead and select that. If we go to the Web02 network, this is the opposite. We should see the red network, but not the blue. And clearly we see red and we have no blue. Now just to further drive this point home, I'm going to actually call an audible and I'm going to change this. I want to show you guys. So right now Web01 sees the blue but not the red network. But let's change that so it sees the red network. How do we do that? We simply add the host to the proper transport zone. And there's other ways we could do it as well, um, but this is probably the best way to illustrate this concept. So all we have to do is go here and select TZ prod, since that's our correct transport zone, head back to vCenter, and now I should see the red and blue network. Uh, it'll just take a second to refresh. And there we have it. Both networks are now showing up. So that's all for today, everyone. I hope this video was helpful. Like, subscribe, comment if it was helpful. Tell me what you guys wanna see. Definitely appreciate all of the feedback and the likes never hurt either. Have a good one, everyone.